over the years, I've been asked many times in different places and things what a good bit of advice you would have for new divers would be. And I've often said the same kind of generic responses of teamwork and all that kind of stuff. However, it's mostly because I've never really been able to put in words succinctly the main bit of advice that I would like to give. So I'm going to attempt to do so now and I do apologize if it seems a little bit rambly and a little bit incoherent as I'm not the best with English. So my main piece of advice to all of you is never let your ego control you and always stay humble. This is for two reasons. One is if you don't show humility to the ocean, it is going to go out of its way to destroy you. If you allow your ego to make yourself believe and to push you past where your actual limits are, it can cause injury or death, or all sorts of things can go wrong. One of the most common examples that I've seen of this is with depth in the sport. Unfortunately, there are so many things that go into spearfishing. The loads, the strains, the pressure on your body, your mental state, how fit you are at that particular time, whether you've been sick in the last few months, all of these tiny little details will impact how you dive. So just because once when you were healthy on a beautiful day in pristine conditions, you did a drop to 30 meters and came back up and felt perfectly fine does not necessarily mean that you can then replicate that day in and day out. So allowing your ego to inflate your mind to that point where, oh, I've done it once, I can do it again, no worries, isn't necessarily true and can get you into a lot of trouble these days is divers who have gone and done their free diving course. Now, free diving courses are an amazing thing. They teach you a lot of safety and recovery skills and things like that, and they're great. However, line diving and pool diving will never directly correlate to ocean diving spearfishing. The current, the loads on your body, fighting that fish at depth after you've already held your breath, having sharks around, there are so many other factors that come into it. So that just because you may have done that 30 meter dive, line diving in your free diving course will not mean that you can then go and do that. And having your ego get in your mind and say, oh, I've done it, I'm gonna be able to do this, and I'm the best, and it's great, can really get you into trouble. So always stay humble. When you get out on a day spearfishing, if you've done that, and if you want to try and do that again, that's fantastic, and that's fine. But get your buddy to watch your back, and don't shoot a fish on your first drop. Just swim down and see how you're feeling. Make sure that you're actually up to it that day before then adding on top of that dive all of the other things that come with spearfishing. So it's always good to just stay humble. Don't let yourself get into that trap of, I've done it once, I could do it again, I'm indestructible, because that's when things come unstuck. So that now brings me to the second part of why I would always recommend keeping your ego in check and staying humble, and that is your ability to get better at spearfishing and learn. There is an ancient old saying, and you hear it all the time, that you cannot add liquid to a full cup. And it, it's as true in spearfishing as it is in anything else. Once you think you know everything, you will never learn another thing. You need to be humble. Everybody, everybody, from someone who's only dove for an hour to the world champion, you can learn from. If you're open to that information, if you're watching, if you're learning, if you're not sitting there going, ha ha, now I've been spearfishing for 10 years and I've shot X, Y, Z fish and oh man, I am a champ. Because as soon as you ignore that advice, you are losing vital information. And whether it's direct advice or just you watching and seeing what they're doing, if you watch someone dive and say, oh no, that technique is horrible, that would never work, I would never hunt that fish that way but you don't then go and try it, how do you actually know that that isn't a better technique than anything you have ever thought of? And it's the same when it comes to equipment or rigging gear or any facet, boat diving, boat driving, I should say, but any facet at all. If you think you're the best and you are not open to any new information and you block out those things because your ego has told you you know everything, you are really doing yourself a disservice and you will not improve at spearfishing because you've cut off and alienated this massive source of information which is all of these other divers out there.
and it can also really start to make it hard for you to find divers to dive with then as well because once you get into this mindset of well i am really really good i should only dive with the best of the best of the best and you'll start alienating yourself and you end up with nobody to dive with and i'm not gonna lie i have learned things off watching divers who've only been in the water for an hour because you're seeing what they're doing you're watching how they interact and if they interact in a way that is genuinely a mistake and it can be a mistake you can see that mistake and glean so much useful information from that just watching how they spooked that fish can show you in turn how not to spook that fish and also new divers can sometimes do things better than what you've learned because they don't have that inherent dogma from other things that you've learned they may approach a situation in a completely original way because there isn't that other stuff there already influencing them so to put it simply don't close your mind off from ego and don't close yourself off to other divers because you think you're better than them stay humble always be open to learn because no matter how good you get i guarantee there is somebody out there who is so much better who then in turn thinks there's somebody out there who is better who in turn thinks there's somebody out there who is better you'll find that most of the best divers in the world are those who are humble and always looking to improve so even though it is unlikely that many people will end up watching this or listening to the whole thing just due to its length and the way that social media works nowadays with the rapid pace and if it's more than 30 seconds oh they zone out hopefully this little bit of advice sinks in to someone somewhere and helps them on their journey to becoming a better diver or even just helps one person not get injured because let me tell you for a fact i am giving you this advice from a place where I have made these mistakes. I have given myself a torn larynx. I have torn a lung away from my ribs going too deep, too fast and trying to do too much. I have scoffed at advice given to me by some amazing divers when I was first starting out. So trust me when I say that this comes from a place of me trying to help all of you not make the same mistakes I did. And if it helps one person, then it was worth the 785,000 takes it took to actually somehow get this in a form that was coherent enough to kind of make sense. And if this is advice that you think could help somebody in their journey, please feel free to share it or tag them in it or get it out to them because it is something that I personally feel is desperately needed in the modern world of spearfishing is that humility and just not allowing your ego to get in your own way oh well, thank you for all of those who have watched it and have listened i hope it wasn't too much of a, a drag or a bore and the clips of fish getting shot will hopefully um, help with the the more somber tone of this particular video and I, yeah, I'll catch you all again next time for probably silliness, as that's more my style, but occasionally I'll try and do something that will actually help the spearfishing community. Oh, thank you for watching. Bye.